All right, today is the day. We're here at Nick Industries. They are the creators of Suricote and Prismatic powders for powder coating. And when you have a project like the Arite project, things need to look good. Um, so Nick Industries is only here about 10 minutes from my home, the studio. So we're gonna pick up some powders for powder coating and some Suricote for coating the turbochargers. Today we're gonna look at the calipers, but we'll be seeing other colors here in the videos as well as the project goes along. All right, let's go get it. It looks like we're gonna do an unboxing video today, huh? Are you enjoying yourself? Well, as you can see, the dog was anxious to open this box, which held a set of calipers from a Porsche 911. That is the project today. First thing to do is to uh, take them apart, disassemble them, and clean them up. Now, it's a real trick to get these uh, calipers, these uh, four piston calipers apart. So we're going to run through that real quick. First thing, pull out the brake pads. They're a little dirty and disgusting, but they're still in pretty good shape. I'm going to switch places anyway. But the major problem in these calipers is getting the pistons out. So you need to blow them out with compressed air. But if you just try to blow them out, they will fly across the room, probably kill somebody. So you need to have something to stop them from coming all the way out. Else one comes out, then the other three will not. So compressed air and these wedges in here. You see the pistons all popping out there. Remove that. Now, so the trick is now is to remove them the rest of the way. First thing to do is to uh, get the dust boots off. They're just pressed into a little groove as well. So get them off a little ways, then a hook, you can pull them off. Be careful not to uh, damage the boots. And once we have the boots off, it's a matter of pulling the pistons the rest of the way. I have a bunch of chopsticks I use for stirring resins and I put those into the groove of the pistons and I put a little pressure and pop them out. Just found there's really no other way to do it without marring them with pliers or something. So this seemed to work fairly well. Just a little bit of force, pulls them past the, the seal. The seal's the only thing holding them in there. And it's a matter of clearing off all the peripheral stuff, the bleeder valve. Then there's this uh, crossover line that feeds pressure to the opposite side of the caliper. Once you have all the peripheral stuff off, the last thing to do is to pull the hydraulic seal in the cylinders themselves out. Again, being extremely careful not to scratch them or mar them if you want to use them again. Pull hook, and they are out. So before I decide to powder coat these calipers, once I got them all cleaned up, I wanted to do a test. So here's a block of steel that I've coated in the blue and put the vinyl on it, ready to go. So now we're going to go from this blue and put the orange on top of that. The orange went on beautifully, covered the vinyl great, but I did a test also to see if taking the vinyl off hot or cold worked better. The vinyl on the right, see looks terrible, that was when it was hot. Much better on the left side, taking the vinyl off cool. So the test decided that we would coat them, pull the vinyl off when it was cooled off, and then put it back in the oven for a final cure. So once I decided that, it was on to the calipers themselves. So mask the calipers up so they only would put blue on the surface that I was going to put the logo. That might have been a mistake. Directions say to coat the whole thing. I still don't believe that it would have helped any because it was just too much of a problem with the blue causing so much insulation. Got the blue in, put them in the oven. Once they're cooled, time to put that logo on in the vinyl. Got it on the bench in the office. Make sure I get it nice and square under some good light. Once it's on, pull the backing off. And once that logo and vinyl's on, it is time to also mask anything else on the caliper I don't want coated in the powder. And that is, of course, sealing off the piston bores. Definitely do not want any powder in there that will mess up the surface of the piston sliding in there. Also important to, I wanted to cover the mounting surface where it would go onto the hub so that the powder wouldn't be breaking off and changing the torque values in there as well. Also got these nice silicone plugs from Nick Industries. Use those to plug all the holes, any, especially anything that's going to be a threaded insert. You don't want any powder 
curing in the threads, messing up anything. Once it's in, caliper clean is ready to coat. Now the orange seemed to be going on just great at the beginning. And in fact, two of the calipers, it seemed to work, everything worked fine. But a couple of them, once you hit the blue, the insulation in that blue was just too much. And the voltage differential, just the powder would just blow right on by it, wouldn't even stick. I guess the Faraday effect through there just increased along those edges and especially along the vinyl, it didn't like it. So cleaned a couple of the calipers off, compressed air, wiped them down really good, tried it again, got it to where it seemed to be a little bit okay, but not great, questionable. So I put them in the oven just to see what was gonna happen. And well, it didn't go good. So I'm back with the finished product, but things are not what they seem because uh, what you see here in the finished caliper is not what you saw in the experience of uh, getting to this point because I took out a lot of footage or actually I did not get the footage because uh, things turned out so terribly that I just turned off the camera, really just didn't set it up and tried to solve my problems before I actually tried to video it. And then by the time I got them solved, there was just no video, but we'll show you what happened here and give you an explanation. But when I first tried to do this, putting the blue on first, put the vinyl on, put the orange over top, take the vinyl off, and it was terrible. First of all, the vinyl and some of these points had a really bad trouble with the Faraday effect and left the a dark edge because of the blue underneath. So what I ended up having to do is actually strip the blue off and I just did a repair here instead of trying to do the whole thing but just took the blue off in this area and had read in an article online that some people have had some good luck in actually putting the vinyl on and then putting a clear coat across the vinyl. So that's what I ended up doing. I put a blue vinyl on and that blue actually turned black. There's a little bit of blue in there, enough that I'm happy with it now. So I got my nice washed red or orange calipers. They're ready to install back the pads and the brake lines. But on a happier note, I did another run of powder coating with these valve covers. And this was a uh, prismatic powders Cobalt Blue Special, and I'll give you a close-up on the camera, but this is a, a kind of a metallic wrinkle coat with it. Turned out beautifully. Really excited about that. And got a lot of components ready to put the engine back together. Brakes were a ways off for those, but I do have those now. I can put them on the shelf and be ready when we get to that point. Other parts coming soon. Got the frame, the subframes being welded together now, and that will be a video coming up soon. But anyway, hope you like this video. Thanks for coming by and come see us again.